Welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. If you've been following this channel, you've seen me make videos on two seaters and four seater airplanes, but some pilots may require space to carry more passengers, which is why today we're going to look at six seater airplanes that you can purchase for less than $100,000. Now keep in mind that many of these aircraft will be considered complex because a lot of them are retractable landing gears and some of them even come with two different engines. But you can purchase either one of these airplanes for less than $100,000. The first airplane we're going to look at today is the Cessna 310, particularly the Cessna 310R. So the 310 is one of the earliest twin engine airplanes produced here in the United States. This aircraft was first introduced in the mid 1950s and over the years, it's gone through several different models. The 310 being the latest model, which was introduced back in 1975. Now, a lot of great features about this airplane, but the most obvious one we're looking at today is the fact that you can carry up to five passengers. With one pilot, six people will fit in this airplane. You have a lot more payload, over 2,000 pounds useful load. A lot of that will be your fuel to fuel those two engines, but you can have enough room to carry more passengers. Now, you're not hauling all of these people just dragging around. This airplane will cruise easily at 200 miles per hour. Again, you do have retractable landing gear and you have two different engines, so that means maintenance costs. But to get into one of these airplanes, believe it or not, the earliest models of the 310 you can even get for under $50,000. But the Model R more specifically can be found for under, just right under $100,000. You can find them anywhere from $94,000 to $99,000 in very good condition. Second airplane we're looking at is the Beechcraft Baron. The Baron 55 is another early model twin engine airplane produced here in the US. And just like the Cessna 310, this airplane is equipped with a Continental IO engine. Early models have the IO 470 engines, two of them, and you have later models that have more powerful engine, which is the IO 520 turbocharged. This airplane cruises just over 200 miles per hour and you can travel close to a thousand miles without having to stop for fuel. Just like the 310, it is a complex aircraft because you have your retract and you have two different engines you have to think about when it comes to maintenance costs. But the sweetest thing about this aircraft is the payload. You can carry up to six people and climb at well over 1600 foot per minute. One of the reasons why it is cheaper to get into these twin engines is because of the operating costs. They're lower to buy, but they can be more expensive to maintain. When you're flying two engines, you understand that your maintenance cost is going to go up, meaning your operating cost per hour is also more. You're burning more fuel and you're putting away more money to maintain those two engines. How much does the Baron 55 cost? Well, if you look hard enough, you can find the early models of this aircraft for as low as $60,000. But generally speaking, to find a nice aircraft in really good condition, you're looking at between $90,000 to $99,000. Just right under $100,000 for the early models. Anywhere from 1962 models to 1969 models, you can scoop up for right under $100,000. Number three is the Piper Aztec also known as the PA-23. Here's another twin engine made by Piper, but has a little bit more performance. More performance not in terms of speed, but in terms of range and payload. You can carry up to six people in this airplane. You do travel a little slow at 150 knots. That's the economic cruise. And that's roughly 170, 175 miles per hour. But guess what? You can travel further and longer. In the Aztec, you have a range of over 1,500 miles while hauling six people. So although you're not traveling as fast and you're not climbing as fast at 1,400 foot a minute, you're still able to travel longer. And another respectable feature about this aircraft is the stall speed. Again, I've said many, many times, when it comes to airplanes, you're not only looking at how fast they can go. It's also good if an airplane has a slower stall speed. 
and this aircraft will stall at 59 knots. That's around 70 miles per hour, which is respectable for a high performance airplane. Now to get into one of these, you can find some of the earlier models, say in the 1950s, 1960s, even 1970 models for less than $100,000. These aircraft range anywhere from $60,000 to $75,000 for this aircraft. And you're not buying a piece of crap. You can find a good one in really, really good shape for around $75,000. So you want more speed and still be able to travel a thousand miles? Check out the Piper Seneca, the PA-34. Here's another later model twin engine aircraft produced by Piper. This aircraft first introduced in the 1970s. The Seneca has similar payload and useful load as the PA-23, but this aircraft does have better performance. Unlike the PA-23, you're traveling a little faster in the Seneca at a over 200 miles per hour, somewhere around 220 to 30 miles per hour. And this aircraft will still travel up to a thousand miles while hauling six people. Now, how much does it cost? You can find the early model Seneca, the 1972 to 1980 models, anywhere from $75,000 to $100,000. Now the price will differ for several reasons, but you can still get into one of these airplanes for less than a hundred grand. We've saved the best for last. One of the most affordable six-seater airplanes in the market today is the Piper Cherokee 6, also known as the PA-32. Now, if you don't want to deal with the workload of operating two engines, a retractable landing gear, just all the complexity that comes with a high-performance aircraft, look at the PA-32. This is actually the only single engine aircraft that is making the list. And it's making the list because it is a six-seater and it is a very reliable and low entry airplane. The PA-32 Cherokee was first introduced in the early 1960s and you still have a lot of them flying today. Your performance is reduced because you have one engine, but you have enough useful load to carry up to six people in this aircraft. One of the reasons why this airplane is making the list is also because of the maintenance cost. Again, this is the only single engine aircraft on the list. That also means less maintenance. You only have one engine to worry about and you don't have to worry about the complexity of having a retractable landing gear. So no maintenance there. It is a fixed landing gear, meaning your operating cost per hour is much lower and likely you will be paying lower insurance rate for this aircraft. How much does the Piper Cherokee 6 cost? Look hard enough and you'll find this aircraft anywhere from $40,000 to $70,000. Much cheaper and much lower cost than the twin engine airplanes. Again, you are getting lower performance, you have enough room to carry six people, and you can travel over 800 miles. Good performance, lower cost, lower maintenance. I'm not sure if there's anything more attractive than that. Okay guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. And make sure to hit the notification bell button so you know every time I upload a new video. I am also on Patreon. My Patreon link is down below and I greatly appreciate all of your support. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will catch you guys on the next video.